This is Jamie from Code Orange, and this is Hails from the Crypt. Sean on location, Amityville Music Hall Revolution. I'm here in Long Island, my hometown, and I'm accompanied by none other than Jamie of Code Orange. Jamie, how's it going? Great. How are you, buddy? I'm fucking fantastic. I cannot wait to check out Code Orange again. I got to see you last time. You guys were in New York at Webster Hall. Now you're like five minutes from my house. I could not believe when I saw the flyer was posted. I was like, yes, they're coming to Long Island. I could finally hang out with these guys. Oh, yeah. I am looking so much forward to watching you guys. And I mean, you guys have been getting exposure all over the place through NXT, through uh, touring with System of a Down. And then I mean, you got co-signed by Randy Bly from Lamb of God and Corey Taylor of Slipknot. What, what runs through your head when you see those posts on, on social media? The posts blew my mind, but more than that was them. I mean, we played a festival in Wisconsin, and we played at 1 p.m., and they played, I think they were the last two to play, okay? And they show up at like 11 a.m. Together, Corey and Brandy, no. and they just waited around. There wasn't even a crowd. They waited around and they watched our whole set and they talked to it. And they were walking around to all the techs like, "You got to watch this band," and it was just unbelievable. I couldn't believe it, and it motivates us. We shine under that. So it was like the pressure was on, and it just felt felt good. We were delivering, and he was over there. They were jamming, and they've just been so supportive. And Randy, you know, Randy's the one I think it might have showed Corey, and mm -hmm. so. So far, it's been amazing. I mean, I'll, I talk to those dudes now, like regularly, and they, they've yes. been they help give advice. And Randy, I talk to all the time, and they're just great guys. Them, uh, Chris Chris Kale from uh, Five Finger Death Punch, he's been insanely supportive. I mean, we've gotten so much support lately uh, from the, from these dudes, and it really does mean a lot. We we uh, they see where we're coming from, yeah. and they're happy someone is stepping up and saying what they want and doing what they want and making some new shit. So. They're happy about that. So yes. it, made, it made me very happy. See, the egos never inflate with Code Orange, only the motivation factor. It's, it's never ego, and sometimes they'll take little quotes out of what I'm saying and stuff, yeah. but it's, it's not about ego. It's about being confident in yourself and your abilities and what you do. It's not about being better. It's about believing in what we do. We have full self-belief in what we are doing 100%. So I think that that's very important, and people don't like that, you know, and – in, in everything in life it bothers people mm -hmm. but I think that those as always we will always show respect to those bands and and show them the respect that they deserve so I'm, I'm I think they, they get that and that's great being the drummer you're not allowed to say it's about being better being a fan I'm going to tell you you are better no. there's so much competition out there and I have been listening to Code Orange all year long waiting for another album to come across and be like what am I going to listen to as much as the new Code Orange so far I mean there's been a couple yeah, but not <laughs> the title of the brand new album actually out now on Roadrunner Records a nice tie in so after crushing NXT after crushing Europe with System of a Down now even more amazing news finishing out 2017 Opening up for the Dillinger Escape Plan's final shows in New York City. I saw you're on the cover of, is it the cover of Metal Hammer? You're yeah, on? I think it's like, it's like a big cover, so I'm not sure how it works, but we're a part of it. Yeah, yeah I've seen a picture with you, uh, Eddie from Suicide Silence, and Ben from the Dillinger Escape Plan, which just had my mind going. I was like, is that where the offer was made to have Code Orange open up oh, for Dillinger? It was before that, they just tied it in, and then there's like a big one where it's like me and Ice-T and shit. That's sick. And I'm like flipping it off, and Ice-T's right there. So I was not flipping off Ice-T, yeah, but yeah. they made it look like that. <laughs> Which I think is pretty funny, but yeah. uh, respect to Ice T. But yeah, uh, it was it was it was awesome, man. So how did it come up that you guys are opening? Are you doing? Because I know there's three Dillinger shows. They just added a third one. I know you're playing the 28th and the 29th. Are you guys playing the 27th also? No, we're not playing that one. It's too close to the holidays, and we're, we're just trying to chill. And then we're gonna come play the other one. But uh, Greg, I started talking to Greg. He just texted me when our record came out and he got my number and he was just like I love your record it's super supportive so we started talking and then we played that fe same festival uh, with uh, I think it was the same one as the Corey situation or like the day before mm -hmm. and we were all hanging out backstage and they were talking about their last show and I just said like we'll play and he was like you really will I was like yeah we'll play <laughs> it's that easy and man. then he was like alright and we got the offer that's so sick see when you're bringing it as hard as Code Orange that's when you get the dopest shows and the yeah. dopest opportunities and I'm glad you took a long time though yeah. took a long time I mean this is your third album correct forever 
Yeah, it's in my mind, it's really our second album mm-hmm. as the band that we are. But yeah, it's our third, and in 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 terms of what we made, and we've been a, this is our tenth technical year as a band because we started this band when we were fourteen years old. So now we're twenty four, twenty three. We've been touring for many years. We've done many U.S. tours, playing to absolutely no one. We've done many P- European tours, playing to no one. We've worked very, very hard to to get these opportunities. So I'm very happy to take them and to uh, you know really try to shine and and use them to the best of our ability now. We are happy as hell to support on Liquid Metal. All I want is more Code Orange. I want new music. I want videos. I want everything. Yes, I want to know what is going on for the future of Code Orange. You got this three-day tour going on. You're here in Long Island. Thank God you're going to be in uh, Canada for two days. And then I'm sure you're probably going to be resting for a little bit. I want to know what is either the next album or the next tour. What do we got coming up for Code Orange? We're going to do a tour with Gojira in October and in uh we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go out to play a festival in California. And then in November, we're doing another tour, which is a shorter tour that we haven't announced yet. And then in December, we will be playing the Dillinger shows. January, I don't know. And then spring, we got some more stuff planned as well. If we get overseas and do some more of that, and yeah. at the same time, we're working on new things all the time. And we have a lot of things coming. We still have more, a lot more coming from this record in terms of visual content and just yeah. content in general. So we're always thinking. I'm thinking about this 24-7. All, fi- all five of us are always thinking about different ways to to put put this forward and different cool aspects we can add to it, whether it's vis- visual or musical or whatever it is. So there's a lot more to come. I love that motivation, man. You can tell you're still young because you're still all about it. I've interviewed some of these dudes that are like been in the game for years and they're just like, I don't know, man. I'm just here and I'm playing, man. Well, you know what? They better watch out. <laughs> yes. Sometimes when you get comfortable, that's, you know, it happens in the jungle. Yeah, so man. That's just how it goes. My man Jamie cutting a promo. If you smell what Code Orange is cooking, that is so badass. I am looking so much forward to watching Code Orange take over the world. I want to be right there. I'll be hauling, you know, a guitar amps, whatever you need. I'll get water, chicks, whatever you guys want. You're all straight edge, right? All straight edge? No, three of us are straight edge. Okay. Two, two of us are just do whatever. So. Oh, damn, man. I should have brought some chronic for the other two. Fuck. Uh, they, they love that. They love that. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get with them a little after, man. Jamie, dude, thank you very much. What song uh, off Forever do you want to go into now to wrap this up on Liquid Metal? Let's play the song uh, called Real. I think this is a really cool uh, – it's just a song that kind of it, – it, it assembles all of our, our styles of, of, uh, of, of heavy stuff, so – if, if you're a fan of heavy music, you know, there's different kinds of tracks on the album. There's tracks that are more, uh, you know, have more of a melodic bass. This not, is not one of those tracks, but it incorporates a lot of electronic elements, a lot of metallic elements. I think it's a very individual song, so it's called Real. And my favorite part is when everything stops and you just go, This is real now, motherfucker. Here it is, Code Orange.